God damn, that's so loud! Ah, turn it down! Turn it down! Damn. That hurt. Alright, let's get into the episode. It's Mechabor! So first up today is the heavyweight Mechavore, and he was an absolute bitch when I first tried to design him many, many months ago. The main problem was that I couldn't get the motor, the HP Zeektech motor, to line up so that the blade was kind of in the middle of the body as you see here. But recently, I've been taking advantage of a new glitch, and that is to put an HP Zeektech motor connected to any sort of flipping motor, then as you can see here, simply adjust the start position for the flipping motor, and you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. It's very, very handy, as you can see with Mechavore, it worked flawlessly. As for that, everything else was really simple to design the bot. The little cage that holds his gas engine in real life, I mean, yeah, it doesn't look accurate, it's just a bunch of black extenders and angle connectors, but I mean, it looks kind of cool, right? Look! I think it's alright, don't, don't, don't say anything otherwise. FUCK YOU! YOU FUCKING DICK! I'M INVINCIBLE! LOL! You're a special kind of stupid. No, what the fuck? He was supposed to go unbeaten! So, we meet again. Ah, fuck no, emergency, please! Oh my god! Finding him is like going to church, you just know it's gonna suck. What? Where the hell is Grog? Oh my god. What an idiot. What the hell is he doing? He's driving around like he's got a pull up his ass. Eat shit! Eat my shit! Balotelli! Aguero! Yeah, you and I both know that's bullshit. I'm totally doing this joke again. Hazard! He has done it! I didn't mean that soon. Sorry. It's not easy to be me. So it's time to grade Mechavore, and he was pretty average all around on the table. Not only was the appearance pretty damn spot on, but the weapon caused a lot of damage just like it did in real life. Record accuracy wasn't that good, he was 15-2 and two in recording compared to 7-3 and three in real life. Fighting style, I mean, it, I think we were a little too aggressive. Sometimes Mechavore just kinda was patient and waited for bots to attack him, examples being like against Biohazard. In terms of his performance in the game, absolutely incredible. It's so fun just to rip wheels off one after another. It's Dreadnought! Now it's time for Dreadnought, the less successful super heavyweight robot from Team Cool Robots. Yeah, he was a little bit difficult to design as well, but hey, you can see that bouncing motor right there? Yeah, so that's me using this glitch again that I showed you in Mechavore. So basically, put one of them on a flip motor and then angled it accordingly so that the motors kind of crossed over in the middle and that the blades could be more evenly distributed in the front like they should be. Now, they're a little bit too small, but I had to make it that way because we're using the slim wheels, the biggest wheel possible, and any other dimension for a bigger blade would have hit the ground. It just would not have worked and he wouldn't have been even close to invertible. So we had to do this. And also, yeah, the slim wheels aren't very thick, hence the name, but that's the best we can do. Aw oh, shit, I forgot Mechavore's section was over. Sorry guys, hold on, let me let me fix this. I'm invincible! You know, those jokes might have been funnier if they were reversed. Oh, come on! Why does everyone have to pick on me at the same time? Guys, if you feel like picking on someone, pick on that dumb cunt. I've been waiting a long time. Oh, piss off, Hanky Panky! Could you guys leave me alone for just one second? You fucking shit! Hey, hey! 
I'm the only one allowed to have wheels in this arena. Baby, lock the door and turn the lights down low. Mmm, thank you for my orgasm. Look at this loser just sitting here staring at a wall. Why don't you make something of yourself? Why don't you go get a job, you freaking deadbeat? Now it's time to grade Dreadnought. He was, well, kind of average. Appearance wise, pretty damn good. Weapon wise, not really. Caused too many parts to be ripped off, whereas in real life, it was just like Minion's Blade. It just kind of hit the bots and then stopped. Record accuracy 15 and 3 in the game, 4 and 3 in real life. Way, way off. Fighting style, I couldn't really find a lot of fights to figure out how he fought, but I felt like I was a little too aggressive compared to him. And good for RE2 grade, eh, it's alright. A little bit slow and when the blades are digging into the ground, it's a bit annoying. Hey, you! Do you have a favorite BattleBot that you would like to be part of this series? Leave a comment of the BattleBot's name below. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. No, it isn't. Tap it in. Just tap it in. Give it a little tappy. Tap, tap, tap a room.